Hello my friends, welcome to my weight loss life. I got a great show for you today. One, I'm just gonna kinda show you, uh, talk a little bit about my life and what I kinda like to do on a daily basis. Um, and also, I wanna show you a couple tools of the trade that I like to use regularly when I'm cooking food. And there's a little bit of hint in the corner there, but uh, that's just one of them. So anyways, let's get into it. Hey, I appreciate you watching my video today. And uh, if you like it, please give me a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you like this kind of content, follow me on my weight loss journey. Make sure you hit that subscribe button over here. It'd be greatly appreciated. Okay guys, first off, I wanna talk about um, connecting in nature a little bit. As you can see, it's a beautiful summer day here in North Iowa. Um, it's gonna be in the high 80s today, and right now it's in the mid 70s, and it's only like 9.30 in the morning, so a uh, beautiful day. Uh, as you can see, things are kind of in full color. You look at all the flowers in the background over here, and uh, there's a lot of, uh, nice things to look at. I'm actually gonna give you a little garden tour today um, just to kind of show you what I got going on a little bit in my um, flower gardens and just to kind of introduce you or get you into my life a little bit and show you what I what I enjoy doing, um, stuff I like to do. Not that I can do a lot of gardening anymore, a lot of my, my wife does a lot of that. I just kind of help with selection of plants and watering them. Uh, she does a lot of the planting and pretty much all the weeding when we have time. Um, I have a hard time bending down to pull weeds. It hurts my back a little too much with my arthritis, but uh, I do what I can, you know, and that's all you can do. Uh, if you have limitations, you just do the best you can, you know, that's part of it. So um, what I want to talk about a little bit is connecting in nature. Uh, you know, in the morning, I really like to kind of come outside if the weather permits and uh, connect in nature, um, walk around in the yard a little bit, or just sit here on the deck like I'm doing right now and uh, just kind of take it all in, listen to the birds singing at me, talking to me. Um, just uh, one thing with walking around the yard, and I, I've heard a lot of people talk about the benefits of this, walk around in the grass in your bare feet, uh, connect with nature and mother earth uh, it does have some grounding principles helps keep you balanced um, you know we're here in this world and we're a part of it and i think it's important to connect that way if you haven't tried it i encourage you to give it a try and see if it makes a difference in your day and in your life uh, it's worth a shot you know why not i do believe nature is some of the best healing medicine there is it helps clear your mind uh, helps you focus on your goals a little bit more um, it just declutters things going on and the drama of life and the things going on outside of our control. Um, and that's what's nice about connecting with nature. I believe it really does help us, uh, especially if you're on a you know, weight loss journey. It's good to have some uh, meditation, some downtime, some prayer time. Um, I, I like to do that in the morning too if I can. Do some praying, do some meditating. Uh, just clear your mind. Um, I think that really helps a lot. So keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to give you a little garden tour and then I'm going to show you a couple tools of the trade as I like to call it to uh, help with some of my cooking and give you a couple of uh, ideas maybe to help you, uh, especially if you're trying to figure out what to cook and where to cook and uh, maybe you haven't done a lot of grilling or griddling um, or smoking meats. Um, you know, that's the thing when you're doing a low low carb keto diet or even carnivore, you're eating a lot of meat. Um, so you, there's lots of different ways to prepare that meat. So, you know, you need different tools to do that. All right, let's get into the tour. Okay guys, you'll have to forgive me. Um, there's, you're gonna see some weeds, you're gonna see some flowers that are spent, just like this plant. All these lilies have spent already. So um, next thing you know, these will be seeding out for next year. They only come out around uh, the end, very end of June, first part of July. These were pink and orange flowers on there. I've just got some different flowers. You have to forgive me. I don't know the names of all these. We just had some of these perennials up. Here's some flowers that are blooming here. Um, this is just alongside of my garage. And these are kind of fun when they come out. They got a great big flower on them. Um, they last a few days. There's tons of buds coming. 
we'll be seeing those coming pretty soon but they're probably 10 inch in diameter flowers so those are pretty cool my neighbor's got a pretty flower over here I just wanted to kind of show it to you too um, they're just been blooming for the last couple weeks they just keep popping out those are pretty cool too once again just kind of walking the grounds here in the back just got some landscaping <laughs> I gotta do some transplanting of some of these flowers because they're perennials and they expand. The one with the purple tops over here. Um, there's like four of them. I probably need to move some to the other gardens. Um, got some tall zebra grass there in the back. Those orange flowers back there are dragon um, flowers. I, that's not mine, but uh, they're pretty to look at. Like I said, I don't know the name of a lot of these flowers, but uh, I know most of them are perennials, other than the annuals in the basket there. And then, of course, you have a hosta right here. Got the bird bath for the birds. Got a rose bush. Um, just there's, we kind of like our little garden art. There's Dino, our little uh, dinosaur. Excuse the mess. I mean, some places aren't the best, but uh, are cleanest yet. But uh, it's just showing you some of the flowers. Love connecting to nature, getting out in the gardens. This plant has done really well. There's a few of them actually, but they've been flowered for like about a month now. So um, there is a lot of weeds in this garden. So also just a lot of overgrowth, which we need to clean up. So. It's got a rose bush there. Some, we just planted this plant this year. It's going pretty good other than the thistles. Um, this is kind of more for monarch butterflies. Um, we actually have a house over here for monarchs. Right there. Some rhubarb, it's kind of seen its better day. And there's some more of that zebra grass. It's one of my favorites. Um, if you haven't seen it before. This area we redid this year. Uh, we planted some perennials. They're all pretty small, but hopefully next year they'll come in really nice. Uh, I got some grasses there. Had to put a little more mulch down. Uh, like I said, I, my wife does a lot of the heavy lifting and stuff, so um, I'm grateful to her. some flowers popping here just kind of take it around to the front this is another monarch uh, garden a lot of the flowers that came up have died off we planted some more though um, get some daisies up front we just planted there's some milkweed that's for monarch butterflies and like I said usually there's a lot of colorful flowers and iris and stuff in the spring but uh, they uh, kind of die off a little bit Some more hosta. That's a bleeding heart. I gave it a lot of water last night. I think it's just its its cycle is kind of ending. Um, so it's changing color a little bit. Some more hostas. Some other flowers here. These were white and they kind of turned yellow the rest of the year. Uh, very pretty. More of these uh, lilies that were all they're all flamed out for the 4th of July. It's got a pot on them now, so seeds are in there, so it'll go for next year. There's kind of one of our sitting benches that we sometimes sit out. Okay guys, this is probably one of my favorites, uh, my Blackstone Griddle. And I don't know, I've got uh, another channel called The Griddle Guy. I'll put a link below. I have not put it on any recent videos. A lot of it was before I ever started my weight loss journey. But I've got quite a few videos on there. If you like cooking, you're into cooking, you might want to check it out. Like I said, I'll put the link below. It's The Griddle Guy. 
is the channel and I'll leave a link for that. I cook a lot of food on there and show you how to make it. Um, you know, I use this thing <clears throat> now daily pretty much. I like to cook um, supper on this all the time because usually I'm cooking some kind of meat, whether it be steak, chicken, pork, shrimp. Um, I do a lot of that burgers, um, ground beef, lamb, ground lamb, burgers, all kinds of stuff. And I like to cook it on here. Um, another thing that uh, I like to use is this Stoke um, charcoal grill. And it's kind of seen its better day. Um, I didn't use it all last year and this year I've been using it quite a bit more. A lot of times I'll sear steaks on here and then finish them on the, the griddle. You can do it the other way around too. Start them on the griddle and finish them on the charcoal grill. Uh, makes for amazing steak. You can smoke your meats on there, do ribs, all that kind of stuff. I enjoy this. Sometime I'll upgrade. Um, I'll be having to do that here soon. But when you're cooking meat, you gotta have tools like this and cook outside when you can. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier than uh, making a bunch of pans dirty. I'm gonna show you another tool that I use. It's called a temp spike. Um, this is a game changer in cooking because you stick this in the meat. It's a meat probe and actually it's Wi-Fi. It connects to your phone and your phone will monitor uh, the temperature, internal temperature of the meat, also the outside, the ambient temperature. Um, I'm gonna leave a link below to Amazon for these. So if you wanna check them out more, they sell them on Amazon and uh, it is a nice tool for cooking meat, the correct temperature. Uh, you know, if you like your steak uh, a medium, uh, it's a great way if you like it pink. Or, you know, if you like a medium rare, it's great. So you know what the temps are. And you wanna make sure your chicken gets done, your pork is, uh, is edible too. Uh, it's a great tool. And I'll, I'll kinda show you a little video here on that, how that works, but uh, these are definitely worth it. And you just plug it in here to recharge it. Um, but it, it works great. Um, I just want to show you that um, it's an awesome tool to help you if you're cooking meat. So if you want to check out more that more, it's in the link below. Okay, guys, just wanted to give you my final thoughts. Uh, first off, thank you for coming along on my garden tour and checking out some of my tools of the trade. You know, these are just a couple of them. It's not all of them by any means. So keep that in mind. Um, like I said, I think it's important to try to connect with na in nature daily, spend some time outside, breathe that fresh air, you know, put down your devices, um, put down your phone and, uh, you know, just spend some time outside, whether it's just going for a short walk, you know, just taking a little stroll around the yard, enjoying the flowers, enjoying the birds, uh, enjoying animals and just, uh, connect with nature a little bit. I think it does does the soul really well, uh, really good. So uh, keep that in mind. It'll help keep you focused on your weight loss journey. I know it's really helped me. And I think being in nature really promotes some good healing. So keep that in mind as you go along. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the, uh, the griddle I showed you. And like I said, I got a channel called The Griddle Guy. I'll put the link below for that if you wanna check it out. You can see what I look like when I was a lot heavier um, as well. And then, uh, like I said, I use that charcoal grill too. So uh, lots of ways to prepare food and cook food so it doesn't get boring. You know, take advantage of the nice weather, especially if you live in a seasonal area like North Iowa, we have four seasons. Uh, you know, we're in the heat of summer. Usually the last week of July is the hottest week of the year that we're in it right now. And then things start turning fairly quickly towards fall. Uh, it seems like it goes fast. Granted, August can be pretty hot too in September, but uh, things turn quick and the next thing you know, it's fall and then into winter. So uh, just make sure you get out there and enjoy no matter what season it is. So, hey, I appreciate you watching today. I thank you very much. If you made it this far, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, it is greatly appreciated as well. And thank you for following me on my weight loss journey. Uh, just continuing working hard. Hopefully I can keep dropping some weight here and uh, report some results to you later. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care, my friends. God bless. Bye.